Hello everybody. Today we're discussing the highly expected next episode of Yellowstone Season 4. In the previous episode, we watched Dutton's falling apart, as Casey also left Yellowstone and Beth remained as the only one who was with John. John was feeling loneliness to his core. Maybe he wasn't defeated, but he was tired and the attacks of Season 3 were more mentally challenging than physical. Still, we watched him form a kind of a relationship with an animal rights activist, which was surprising. We also got to see some developments on solving the mystery behind the attacks as Jamie discovered that Garrett was the one who orchestrated all of these dramas. The news was devastating for Jamie as he put all his trust into Garrett while distancing himself from the Duttons. However, by the time he went home to face Garrett, he was welcomed with a surprise. His baby was waiting for him since his partner returned thanks to the fact that Jamie parted ways with John. It was a bittersweet moment for Jamie. On the one hand, he was very happy to see his child for the first time. However, on the other hand, he had to postpone facing Garrett on his crimes and was forced to endure him for longer. Besides, there is also the fact that he can only see his child as long as he is away from Yellowstone and the Duttons. Therefore, defending their rights might be very costly for him in the long run. As Jamie was left with all these problems, Beth has started her new job at the market equities. The news didn't make John happy, as the company is representing everything he is against in this life. Nevertheless, for Beth, taking her revenge against Schwartz and Mayer was much more important than fulfilling John's expectations. Well, she finally took the revenge by firing her old boss, which was a cathartic moment for the character and we love to watch it. To summarize, Episode 5 of Yellowstone was filled with many major events that were building the basis for the upcoming episode's plotlines. Naturally, our expectations from Episode 6 are very high, as we expect to see the episode getting deep dive into all these topics. First of all, we anticipate Jamie to finally have that difficult confrontation with Garrett. We know that it wouldn't be an easy one for him, as Garrett is his biological father and has fulfilled a major gap in his life after being estranged from John. Jamie is in immense need of a strong father figure in his life, who is also highly loving and appreciative of his son's achievements. Since he didn't see all of these from John for decades, finding Garrett was like a miracle for him, enabling Jamie to feel as a powerful, successful man once again. Therefore, finding out that he was responsible for what had happened to John, Beth, and Casey was a major shock for Jamie. He wasn't expecting this at all, as he always positioned Garrett as a good man in his mind. That's why he was prioritizing him over John. John was bad, but Garrett was good. Now, all these perceptions of Jamie are collapsed, and he has to face the fact that his father has attempted murder on his family. Naturally, we don't expect the confrontation to take place in a smooth environment. On the contrary, we'd expect Jamie to lash out to Garrett, while Garrett is also not holding back for a bit. Garrett will probably try to manipulate Jamie by trying to convince him that John has never cared for him. Since Jamie has so far had no trouble in believing in Garrett's manipulations, we are not sure whether he would be able to resist this time. To be honest, for Episode 6, we expect him to give in to Garrett, and at least pretend as if he is on the right side. However, we believe that in time, his consciousness will consume Jamie and he will have to reveal to everybody that Garrett is the one who should be blamed for everything. By that point, however, Jamie would probably reach the point of mental breakdown, which would lead him to apply to violence. Against whom? You may ask. Well, of course, Garrett. In our opinion, we will likely see Jamie killing Garrett at the end of all these dramas. It would be a very difficult decision for him, for sure since we're talking about something as serious as patricide. Nevertheless, we feel like it is inevitable at this point. Unfortunately, Jamie is not the only candidate who might kill Garrett in the end. Rip is also at the top of the list as he is never hesitant when it comes to protecting the rights of the Duttons in Yellowstone. And yet, this is not strictly business for Rip. On the contrary, this is very personal. We know how much Rip values John, seeing him as his mentor and even like a father. However, he is also in love with Beth, the love of his life. Expectedly, anyone who targets Beth is automatically targeting Rip as well. So far in the season, we didn't see Rip's anger over the attacks. It seems like he is waiting for the right time to express his true emotions regarding the incident. We believe that the right time will come when he finds out Garrett is the one who is responsible for all these. In our opinion, Episode 6 might be the one that explores all these topics while revealing the truth to the Dutton family. 
Would Garrett be killed in this episode, though? Well, we are not sure. However, the trailer to the episode will probably give us clues on what to expect. What do you expect from Episode 6 of Yellowstone Season 4? Who do you think will kill Garrett? Do you think Janie will be able to do the right thing? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.